Aloha. How are you doing? You're comfortable? You're happy? You understand what I'm saying. But there are people in this environment who are not as aware as we'd like them to be. And they're not spiritual. How can we relate to them? How can we suggest to them and make our environment better? First of all, I'd like to suggest attachment and being attached. Because if you're attached to people who play roles like uh, father, mother, brother, sister roles, what happens is you you put yourself in a position to not only be challenged but to to be in conflict, constant conflict, and everybody ha is predisposed to having an addiction. Different addictions for different people could be bad habits, could be alcohol, could be some type of a an unusual behavioral pattern. That is genetic, but what isn't genetic is whether you will be addicted or not and the addiction doesn't start in whatever you're you're interacting with whatever your substance you're abusing it starts right here and to know that is something that would offset many people because they try to blame it on oh out there but it's right here and we have a lot of power we have a tremendous amount of power and a capacity for projection projecting into our environment and we definitely have made choices to be with the people around us and so let's get back to the point why are these people near us? Like even our our own family, why are they not spiritual? Why are they not on top of it? Well, here's a few ideas to throw out there. Becoming more powerful than space and time. Let's say your brother or sister annoys you. That's happening in the now. They've annoyed you. Well, what if you could go back into in time, into history, in your past, and look at a time in which you had a great experience together, and remember that experience and project it? Because if you look at the now, and and you project that now that you're experiencing into the future, the behavioral pattern of your sibling annoying you will continue, it will repeat. And as we all know, the breath is the breath. The breath will cure this tension because it's all here. It's like, it's your emotion. And it's also how you relate to people and communicate. But more important than anything is how we relate logically and intellectually these beautiful concepts of, of spirituality and, and love and, and, and connectedness. We can explain them and explain, to explain doesn't mean to convince. You are not alone and I have experienced a lot of letdown when I go to people, but this happened about a year ago, and now it doesn't happen anymore, this letdown, because you you don't get attached to people. If somebody upsets you, 5% of people do not say hi to me when I say hello, and if you get attached to that 5%, you start increasing the percentage by 15, 20, or maybe 50%. 
and you start thinking that, oh, 50% of people will not say hi. And then you stop saying hi to some people and that percentage stays at 50% and people don't say hi back to you. So remember your own power. This is real, guys. And if you can implement at least the breath, the deep breath, the connected knowingness and awareness. Because, like I said, whether you go into your history or you project into the future or you're having to deal with the now, which we always are, we can make a difference. Go for it. The time is now.